Toward the beginning of the gospel, we read of Jesus inviting a very unlikely character to become a disciple. This is in Mark chapter 2 and verse 14, and the man's name is Levi. And he's so unlikely because he's a tax collector. And the Jews despised tax collectors because they were collecting taxes for the Romans. They were looked upon as being disreputable. I guess you might even say turncoats. In fact, Luke tells us that Levi gave a great feast for Jesus and the Pharisees criticized him for eating with tax collectors and sinners. That's in Luke chapter 5 and verse 30. Jesus has a lot at stake in his choices for those he would associate with. They could discredit his entire ministry, and yet he calls this tax collector. Jesus also called a greedy thief who would end up betraying him, a zealot who made a very unlikely mix with a Roman tax collector, and a fisherman who was a little too quick to speak up at times. And then there were two brothers who could be, well, they were called sons of thunder for a reason. The invitation list looked like a recipe for disaster, and Jesus knew exactly who he was getting. Who did Jesus invite when he called each of these men? They may have been different in many ways, but they all had one particular thing in common. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that they were all Jews. It's that they were all sinners. That's who Jesus invited when he invited me. It's also who he invited when he invited you. Oh, and that tax collector named Levi? His Greek name was Matthew. And he ended up chosen as one of the 12 apostles and wrote the first gospel in your New Testament. It's never too late. What are we doing to serve the Lord?